Quick breaking news injury update from Justin Cooper brought to you by O'Neill. The Star Racing Yamaha rider raced only half a season in Supercross to focus on and be better prepared to contend for the 2023 Pro Motocross Championship. After three rounds, the 32 was sitting second in points and within striking distance of Hunter Lawrence, but it all came unraveled at the round four in high point with a scary high-speed crash through the rollers in the second qualifying session. Justin was very slow to get up, but did manage to leave the track under his own power, riding on the back of his YZ250F as his mechanic manned the bars, but shortly thereafter, he was transported to the hospital nearest the Mount Morris track location, effectively ending his bid for the championship. The 32 posted an update Sunday afternoon about his injury, saying, The past 24 hours have been pretty scary. As most know, I crashed yesterday in the second round of qualifying. My chest and neck got crushed by the handlebars. My throat started to close up in the Alpine Stars medical unit and I was immediately transported to the nearest hospital. I spent the night there and am headed back home to Florida now to start my recovery. I really appreciate all of the messages and support. Also, a special thank you to my in-laws for getting Jillian to me ASAP yesterday and for waiting around on me to get discharged so that we could fly home today. Now 54 points down on championship leader Hunter Lawrence, who has secured all four overalls to open the season, it is unclear what Cooper's next move will be. Due to his 2021 250 West Supercross Championship, he is unable to race in the small division indoors, and with no clear path to the big bike class at this current team with Star Racing Yamaha, it is hard to say what Cooper will do with the rest of his season. With defending outdoor champion Eli Tomek out of action, as well as many other notable riders missing from the 450 field, it would not be unreasonable to think that Star could want to promote Justin to the big bikes for the remainder of the summer. Justin currently ranks 27th in the SMX point standings, just 20 out of the top 20 in the 450 class that would guarantee a berth into the very lucrative three race series this fall. And with the return of other top factory guys expected in the coming weeks, a J Coop move to the 450 class once he's healed and healthy could make for a very interesting summer down the stretch. With Garrett Marchbanks and Ty Masterpool moving up and easily slotting into the top 20 in the 450 class, where do you think a healthy Justin Cooper would fare against the currently depleted 450 field? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video on your way out if you value my content. Thanks as always for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.